John Hickok here with the High Point JHP45. All right, let's take a couple of shots. What we're talking about today is, is this really the worst gun? Uh, very likely, but let's let's get into that a little bit deeper. Uh, but first, as always, we appreciate our uh, sponsors, uh, Bud's Gun Shop and Range, great support of the channel for many, many years. Silencer Central, famous for doing one thing and doing it very well. Definitely check them out. Also, SDI, the Sonoran Desert Institute. You can uh, get certified in gunsmithing through their online distance learning program. So definitely look into that. And Alabama Holster, uh, great great little concealment kydex holsters so check those out uh, appreciate you guys supporting people who support us okay the high point all right this is a controversial gun for a uh, very good reason okay now before i get into what you already probably know i'm going to say about this i want to i want to say this okay i am very glad that high points exist you know they had the courage to make something that looks like this and take this market when no one else would, right? Has anyone tried to beat High Point at what they do and make the lowest cost, you know, gun that works? Uh, not that I've seen, you know? So you have to give them credit for that because when you look at our Second Amendment rights, they are for everyone, regardless of how much uh, money that you make, right? So that is a, very cool thing that they offer it's basically the cheapest real you know gun that you can uh, buy now with that being said I if you are telling me that you have a high point because it's all that you can afford I better not walk into your house and see a TV a couch you better not have a refrigerator you better have nothing in your house. You better be sleeping on the floor if you have a high point. Because if you can scrounge together even just a little bit of extra money, you, I mean, you pick up bottles on the side of the road and you can get enough money to buy a probably uh, realistically uh, like seven to 10 times better gun for maybe another 50 to 100 bucks or at, the, at least like 150 bucks, okay? So whenever I, I, you know, myself or dad, you know, says negative things about these guns, you know, one of the number one comments that people always say is like, oh, you're just, you know, you're trashing poor people who cannot afford a better gun. I don't think most of those people are poor, okay? A lot of these people have multiple high points. You should never have multiple high points unless you are very funny and you bought them as a joke that's the only reason you know why i have this high point because dad got it for me for my birthday as a joke that's why i have it okay that is a reasonable reason to own a high point okay um there is a rail on this gun you know <laughs> when you attach a light to that it should say what are you doing? Buy a better gun. <laughs> You're gonna spend money on a light? Buy a, buy a real gun first, okay? It's crazy. So why is this gun, why is this gun bad? All right, it's not everyone knows why possibly. So let's get into that a little bit before I shoot it some more. Well, number one, just look at it. Just look at it, number one, okay? Number two, it's huge it's a single stack 45 and it's huge it should be a double stack right so any high point i don't care what caliber it is you are buying twice the gun with half of the capacity that alone right there you know should keep you away from it unless like i said you you know are living on someone's porch and you're sleeping in a lawn chair okay um the slide is it's like the slide looks like it was made at a 
like the lodge store that makes cast iron skillets. You know, it's uh, atrocious. It feels terrible. It takes all, it's a lot of work, like taking these things apart it is not intuitive at all. It, it's feel like, like this safety right here. It's crazy. It feels very flimsy, um, you know, insanely heavy, insanely heavy. It's like a, I mean, I think the Desert Eagle is probably lighter, you know. I mean, it would work as a club, you know, people make the joke all the time about it being a boat anchor. You know, so maybe it has other applications, you know, in that regard. But it does shoot. Now, people will say that they're uh, incredibly reliable. I don't know if I would go that far. I think they are probably known to be reliable for how inexpensive they are. You know, I would go as far as to, to say that. Uh, but I would not necessarily say that they are inherently very reliable, like compared to, you know, more modern handguns like locks and sigs and h and k's all that kind of stuff because um, i have not i have seen these malfunction all right let's uh shoot a few more the trigger also terrible i mean basically everything that you want your gun to have this doesn't have it Now, you know, pretty soft recoiling for uh, 45 because the slide weighs 80 pounds. Um, but it doesn't feel, but not in a good way. I typically really like guns that have big, heavy slides or big, heavy bolts, you know. I love that about the Uzi, for example. There's like something cool about the way the action feels as it's coming back. You just feel that chunk, chunky like steel moving around. And this, for some reason, just feels it just feels like gross. I don't know what, I don't even know how to describe it. Okay, so the thing is, when people talk trash about this gun, they are not making fun of you for your income level. Like that's, that would be an absurd thing uh, to do. Right. If it is all you can afford, again, if it really, I mean, really is all you can afford, buy one of these, enjoy it, be proud of it and know that you can, um, you know, you, that you have your Second Amendment rights. Right. And you have a way to uh, defend yourself. That's that is a beautiful thing. Not joking. Uh, sincerely, I believe that. Um, but <laughs> compared to anything else on the market uh it's it's yeah i would say it probably is the worst widely available gun out there thank you guys for your time and uh hope you enjoyed the video before you leave i want to remind you to check out our friends talon gun grips and ballastol talon gun grips have been a staple of the channel for years as you know they make grip tape that you can attach to the grip of your handgun or the pistol grip on your rifle and honestly anything you're trying to not drop and have a better handle on right also ballastol of course dad's been using ballastol since the 90s it's been a staple on the channel as well they make a it's a cleaner and a lubricant it's non-toxic it's a great product anything for your guns or anything you're trying to lubricate it's a great way to go thank you guys so much for watching the video